hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel as you can see today we are having a very interesting project making a wall hanging using cardboard and ankara welcome and let's do this so i got this beautiful idea from a friend of mine called awar thanks so much girl for this challenge so i got these beautiful words from her and i printed them on an a4 size paper as you can see then i'm trying to measure that on a piece of uh, cardboard so that i know which size i'm supposed to use i'm trying to get the measurements for the width and the length of the frame so that the paper print out can fit inside nicely so I've just made the measurements and I'm going to cut the pieces out that are going to make the frame both the width and the length. So I'm using a hand axle blade to cut the cardboard into smaller pieces as I had made the measurements and drew the lines before. And uh, for the materials that you need, uh, these are the ones I'm going to use. And uh, there's just one that is optional, that is the stippling gun. You may use it or you may not use it. For me, I'm just showing you because you can use it. But I'm not going to use it because I don't want the pins to show on the wall hanging. Next, we are going to stick these pieces together. It's like we are building them on top of each other. So for the short ones, they make the width, as I said earlier. Then the longer ones, they will be for the length. In the next step, I'm going to attach the frames onto this cardboard that is working as our background. So I'm just putting them together first so I see if they're going to be in good position, if the measurements were right or is there any piece that I need to trim off. But they fit perfectly as you can see. So let's go on with the glue gun and attach this onto the board. There we go, the frame is ready now, very strong and very firm. So next we are going to cover it with the Ankara. So I'm going to do some measurements, try to approximate 
how much of the ankara I need for the length and for the width then I'm going to cut it with the pair of scissors so I'll just need four for the four sides so I'm trying to just approximate I'm not using any measuring tip I'm just putting the ankara on the frame and seeing how much I need to cover each of the sides Now, this is the point where you can use the stapling gun to attach the Ankara piece onto the frame. Like I said earlier, I would not like the pins to be visible on the Ankara. This is a wall hanging. It needs to be as neat as possible. So I'm um, using the glue gun still, but this is the point where you can use the stapling gun to staple the Ankara onto the frame it holds it firmly the same way but remember the difference is when you use a stapling gun the pins will be showing on the ankara so i prefer using the glue gun because it's neat and someone may not even tell where you started sticking the ankara how you are folding it it appears just so neat and flowing If you're joining us for the first time, thank you so, so much. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the place to be. The Stony Girl is here every week to upload videos on DIY, interior deco, baking recipes. We have lessons on art and design and we have got very inspirational gospel music. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Be the first to be notified whenever I post a video like the videos and please leave a comment let me know what you think about the videos let me know of a new challenge that you want me to do and always always don't forget to view the videos and leave your comment thank you so much guys
after covering both and all the sides of the frame I'm going to make a piece from the Ankara that I'm going to use as a hook you know this is going to be hanged on the wall so it needs to have something that can be used for the hook and I thought of just using the Ankara uh, it holds so firmly so I'm just making something like a string and I'm sticking it using the glue gun still and also this place you can use the stapling gun so I'm just uh, using the glue gun then after that I'm covering the back side using this piece of sheer brown in color I thought it wouldn't be a good idea to just leave it uh, open like that with the cardboard so I'm just covering it with the sheer and uh, I want the piece that I'm going to use to hang it to come out though it's not so like a must but it's a good idea to have it like that you can even use a metal for the sticking or even you can use a hole but I thought this would be much better so you can just hang it using a hook so I'm attaching the piece of shear to cover the back side then I'm cutting the excess material using my pair of scissors then I'll just stick it again folding it neatly on the board so it's uh, not uh, showing the edges that I cut so I'm just folding it and sticking with the glue gun Now the frame is done and it's ready for use and the last piece that we are going to stick is this printout. I had it done in a printing shop then I did the pattern on the edges so I'm just sticking it inside the frame We're using still the glue gun and uh, I think this appears so beautiful. The color white is also in the Ankara that matches it and there is some piece of harmony in there with nice pieces of words so this is done i'm happy it came out so well and i'm happy it came out so neat i think you can do this you can make this and you're going to love it please try it out you can use this even for a picture it's not necessarily for the words the written or the printed words you can use it to hang a piece of a picture or anything you want for your wall hanging thank you so much guys i'm happy you watched this till we meet next time bye